You've always worked hard to make sure that you and your family are financially secure. You've also tried to plan for the surprises that life can bring in the future. Only as our next guest knows, even the best plans might not be enough to prepare you for the unexpected costs associated with long-term care. If you've looked at long-term care insurance before and decided it wasn't for you, Stacey Mongar with Farmers Union Insurance says you might want to take a second look because the rules have changed. This is a really yeah. big topic and there's a lot to know about it, which Correct. is why we need experts. Yeah. But it's the kind of thing that you know you don't do, you put off, but when you need it, you need it. And right. man, it can save you. So let's just talk a little bit about what long-term care insurance does and what it covers. Well, you know, you, you look at a while ago, I mean, several years ago, um, people just didn't want to talk about it and it's use it or lose it. And so people are like, well, I pay for all of this and then I don't use it. And so people didn't want it. They're just like, I don't want to pay for something that I potentially am not going to use. And so it's just long-term care is just not something people want to talk about until they've had to put a family member or a loved one into, you know, a nursing home facility. Yeah, you're really rolling the dice on that, though, when you say you don't want to invest in it. Exactly. But it, is it still use it or lose it? There, there are a couple out okay. there. But what's happened is, is those premiums have gone so far up that they can't afford it anymore on those um, use it or lose it policies. And so they... Obviously, people started coming out with new ideas and new um, ways of doing long-term care. And people don't even want to be in a long-term care facility, so they started changing things to in-home health care. So now they have life insurance policies that you can access the death benefit off of, um, second-to-die policies that you can use for it. So there's lots of options out there, um, and it's really you really should be talking about it. So is what you're saying that I can invest in the long-term care insurance and then decide or, or get help deciding how I want those benefits to continue to benefit my family if I don't use the long-term care insurance as it was originally intended. And I can say it's going to pass on to somebody else or become a Correct. death benefit. Yep. You don't get it back, you don't but get it, it back. goes to your family members. So um, if you have, for instance, one of our favorite ones is the One America policy. Um, it's a second to die. So husband and wife um, come in and they get a policy and the death benefit then is used to cover part of you know that long-term care once the husband maybe goes in first and he uses a part of it then the wife goes in she uses part of it or if the wife went in and used all of it then it goes to a continuation of benefits bucket so you can't outlive your benefit okay. so and if you didn't use all of that death benefit in the first bucket then there's a benefit that goes back to the family members, which is usually the premium that they paid in um, for, you know, that particular benefit. Well, so they're getting sounding, it back. It's sounding actually too good to not do the way that you're kind of explaining. And it probably depends on how you set it up in the first place and Correct. how you set up the benefits. But if I can't run out of the benefit if I need it and right. I can pass it along. Yeah. It seems kind of like an And for my farmers, um, yes. that's the big one. So again, if you come in and you say, I just want three years of coverage, we can do that. Um, if I have somebody that comes in that has a farming operation and they need help because their family member, the generation following them is going to farm, I can't lose my farm. Right. And so you have to really be careful to make sure that you've planned for that, um, whether that's, you know, a... a long-term care policy or whatever you're going to do some estate planning there's some estate planning that you can do as well um, to try and make sure that we protect that land and when you speak specifically to to people in our ag industry and our farmers are there specific plans really geared towards them or is it just about knowing that you've got a lot more to lose in the asset department in terms of what you're pan passing on to your family so you want to have just a more robust policy right so south dakota farmers union helps okay. farmers as well as other people as well. It's not right. just farmers. So yeah. if you have land or you have assets or a business that you're going to pass on to the next generation, you just need to make sure that you're covered for that to make sure that you can, because, you know, the, um, the mistake people think about is um, that long-term care facilities come in and they take your business from you. They don't come in and take your business. They just say, you're not going to go on Medicaid and we're not going to pay for it until you've spent down your assets. So if you have 150000 in a business, we're just not going to start paying until you get a bill for 150000 How you pay that bill is up to you and your family. 
but it does put families in a bad position because they got to pay that bill. So yeah, and while you have clients from across all kinds of industries, that is often the case yes. in farming where you do have a large asset that they can. Okay, exactly. That makes a lot of sense. So farming so, is the the big one that we deal with. Yeah. Let's talk a little bit about because there was one. There was a line on one of the graphics we just had up that said reimbursement versus indemnity. Yes. What do we need to know about that? So reimbursement is going to be you're going to have to send in all of your receipts. Here's what I spent. You know, does this qualify? They're going to look it over. Um, where um, indemnity is just you're going to get 2% of the death benefit and they just write you a check and you can do with that money whatever you want. So there's not a right or a wrong. It just depends on what you're looking for. So um, if you want to be in home, you just got to be careful because some of those policies don't cover an in home health care. It's just nursing homes. So if you want to be at home and you want a nurse to come to your house, um, you might want more of an indemnity policy than a reimbursement because like my my niece is a um, as a nurse or a doctor, a PA. And if I wanted her to come and take care of me, those it doesn't cover it because it's a family member. So they won't pay my family member, even though she's a doctor. Right. They won't pay her. So what is the timeline for this? Because I think of somebody like myself let's hope I've got a ways to go. Do I right. need to take care of having that insurance policy early on? Is it beneficial financially to do it earlier than later? Can I roll the dice and wait till I'm closer <laughs> to that age? <laughs> you know, our, our, the good time to be looking at it is in that 50 to 55 range probably. Um, but we do have, um, some people have it on their term policies now. Um, people are getting creative in our industry, in the insurance industry, and allowing it in a term policy, which you would think that's kind of weird, but um, some companies are, have, are allowing that. So, you know, you come in, we talk about it, getting it younger is gonna be cheaper. Um, and the longer you wait, the more expensive it gets. And then all of a sudden it's, I can't afford it. So and that's about the time where you need it. Yes. Right about that time, right? Exactly. So you gotta be, you gotta be, yeah, selective really and kind it. of figure out, is it too early? Is it too late? It's, it's a tough, it's a tough call. Well, a lot to think about. Thanks for breaking it down a little bit more for us. Yeah. I don't want to think about it, but I'm going to. I'm going to. I'm going to. I know. I know. You can find out more about how Farmers Union Insurance can help you select the right long-term care insurance plan for you and your family by visiting their website at fuiagency.com or call 605-212-1581. All Farmers Union agent offices are open across the state, but please call ahead to schedule your appointment. You can also reach a Farmers Union agent by email. Farmers Union wants you to know that they are still continuing to service customers as needed in person, by phone, or online.